Welcome back. Today we are going to do some exposure matching in Lightroom to get your images all looking the same to go from this to this. Let's do it. And good morning. Richard here and welcome back to my channel. Here is another quick Lightroom tutorial. I'm going to show you very quickly how to match the exposures across a number of images. So if you've got five or six images, um, different locations maybe, or different different shots in the same location, one of them you've edited, it looks it looks pretty good, and you want to apply that to the others, then you can do that really easily with a couple of clicks. Obviously, it's not copying and pasting the edits that you've made because that will just increase or decrease the exposures or whatever on each image. But this is to level out the exposure across each image to give you a starting point. So if you want to skip through to the end of this, there's a really quick 30 second process that shows you how to do it in, in 30 seconds if you don't want to sit through the next couple of minutes. But the link to that will be in the uh, description below where you can just click on that and jump forward to that chapter. Otherwise, here we will go into the computer now and we can look at it in a bit more detail. So let's jump into Lightroom. So here we are, we have the five images that were taken in a, um, on a family holiday we were at last year. You can see here they're going from underexposed all the way up to overexposed. And this one has been edited to give it more of an even um, exposure so we've got some better balances here obviously it's all to taste but this is how this is how I've done it and you can see the others are different um, different exposures so all we need to do is let's look at them in this screen here because it will be a little bit clearer make it thumbnails a tiny bit bigger so like I said, the good ones in the middle and these are all the poor ones. So it's really simple. Like I said at the start, you could edit each one individually or you could copy the settings and paste the attributes or paste your settings over all of them. But if you've increased the exposure on this one by 20, then all that's gonna do is increase, increase the exposure on this one by 20, which is not what you want to do. You obviously want to bring this one down. And this one may need to have the exposure increased by 50. So it's not just a case of copying over the same edits that you've done on this, on all of them. It's actually a damn sight easier. So you click on the one, your master copy if you like, the one that you like, hold down command or control, and then click on all of the others. So ultimately you'll have all the images highlighted that you want to edit with this and then all you do then is go up to photo develop settings and match total exposures now you have got a keyboard shortcut here which is uh, all of those buttons um, but we haven't got enough fingers for that so just click on match total exposures before I do just keep an eye on those five images either up the top here or down the bottom here. Match total exposures, we're clicking on it now. Watch those images. And eventually you'll see, it's gonna take a while for some reason. There we go. Don't know why it took that long, but you've now got five much more balanced photos with a simple click of the button. If you went into each photo individually, it will show slightly different um, edits, but this is the easiest way to get an even exposure over multiple images. You can now go and edit those, each of those images individually as you see fit, um, or pick your favorite, or just work on each one. Um, so that was it. Dead easy. Here is a quick fast forward snippet of what I've just done in a few seconds. So I'm gonna just control Z, I'm gonna undo that. Hopefully. There we go, so they're back to where they were. Okay, so now this is just really, really quickly. Have the images you want on your screen, click on your master copy that you want to match and you want to apply those to, command control, highlight all the images, 
go up to the menu, click on photo, click on develop settings, click on match total exposure, and bang, they're all done. So that was a recap and a quick, uh, the quick shot there of, of how you do it really quickly. Thank you for tuning in for this one. And I hope you found it useful. Please like and subscribe to the channel for loads more Lightroom tips, photography tips, and things like that. It was great to have you here. And we will see you in the next video. So see you next time.